In this daily Arsenal news video, I'll be talking about the news about Emil Smith Rowe that he will be staying at the club, it looks like, and also Ivan Fezneda, as if there's been quite a few updates on him. I'll also be touching on people like Wilfred Nonto, a bit on Cancelo, and a bit on Asensio, and more, so let's get right into it. Starting off with the main news of today, and David Ronson put this out on the Athletic article, Arsenal have no intention of letting Emil Smith Rowe depart this summer, 22 year old contracted until 2026, and there's an important plan important part of the Arsenal plans. After injury hit campaign, hope, it, hope is that he shines at the under 21 Euro competition and in pre-season before a big 23-24 season, obviously in the Athletic. And that Gunnar Blog was talking about it and he mentioned here, as you can see here, can add that the club have recently communicated very clearly to Emil Smith Rowe that he's indeed part of the plans for next season and obviously Arteta's task is to try to get the best out of him. And obviously Kay Kainak from London Football, they were talking about Emil Smith Rowe and his training recently and were pretty positive about it they said we've done some stuff on the mill smith or situation he's come back from injury and he's pain free all the reports from training are positive and that he's lost weight he's much leaner than he ever has been before he's setting personal records in terms of space and physicality all of those things he hasn't had any conversations with Arteta about what he needs to do to be in the team so Arsenal clearly don't want to sell Emil Smith Rowe I don't know if this will change if like massive offers come in in my opinion I really didn't mind what would happen to be honest I knew there was rumors of either happening if he had left the club I would have been like oh it is what it is thank you for your service however if he's staying I would really don't mind giving him another chance as again he does have lots of credit in the bank still a very very talented midfielder obviously or winger away Whatever you see him as and you know he could have a big season next season what i would say is that pre-season is very very important and he really needs to find a position down because he needs to we need to be having a reliable squad and he need, Arteta needs to trust him when we're chasing a game when we're even rotating and we need to rest people and competition need to come in smith Rowe needs to earn his trust from arteta and if he can do that and if he can become part of this you know title winning squad it's only a, will be a benefit to Arsenal. So as I said, preseason is going to be absolutely massive for him. And again, I really do not mind him staying. In fact, I would say it's more positive news than negative news. As he is a Halen graduate, I don't want to be too soft and say, yeah, he should stay just because of that reason. However, credit in the bank. I would say give him another season and see how this goes. If it's similar to the one he's just previously had, then ideally you probably let him go. However, here's hoping he has a massive, massive turnaround. And you can see he's done very well in training according to a few people and this is what he needs to put in his hard work and I trust him to do so. Whether we don't know why he's not getting game time from Arteta, is it because he just doesn't rate him? Well clearly not if he wants to keep him actually now that I'm thinking about it. Is it because of you no know, application and not trying hard enough, something like that? Then maybe uh, Smith Rowe needs to improve on that and Arteta needs to learn to trust him and you know it works both ways. But if Smith Rowe's doing better in training, getting leaner and looking you know more physical as well, winning duels if he's going to play in that 8 role, learn that Xhaka role perhaps and could have a you know be very very good in those positions then he'll be a very 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 useful option next season and if Arteta can use him properly and he can you know become the player that we all think he can become then we have a right talent on our hands here so Arsenal not willing to sell him this season at least and I you know I really didn't mind however I would say this is probably the right decision as the talent you don't want to let that go for a cheap amount of money as well so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on in preseason but that's going to be absolutely vital for him in my opinion so here's hoping he has a very very good preseason and can you know become a main part of this Arsenal title, title winning squad. News on Fesneda today and it came from lots of sources actually we'll start off with Sport Witness who said player has a lucrative offer from Arsenal and the Gunners can spend more to beat competition for signing and that competition and you can see here below is Borussia Dortmund who will face competition from Arsenal to sign Fesneda in the summer. However Matty Moretto uh, said this he said on uh, Ivan Fesneda he said uh, to this day Borussia Dortmund is the best, uh, best place team in order to sign him and the Fabrizio Mano commented on this as well he said Arsenal do appreciate Ivan Fesneda since January but told they have no it well they have not sent any official proposal despite any reports no concrete negotiation or at this stage race remains open with Borussia Dortmund also interested so obviously the first article talking about how we maybe have sent an offer however maybe that's a bit too far-fetched as Martin Moreto is saying no 
Dortmund still the best place team and Arsenal, you know, um, Fabrizio Mano, sorry, saying Arsenal are still in the race. So again, you could say not too much of an update. However, maybe that Arsenal could be losing the race if Dortmund is the best place teams. As I said, Fesneda looks a good player, young fullback. Have to wait to see who Arsenal go for as we've been linked to people like Sacha Boy, Shao Cancelo and also Ivan Fesneda as well as Simican. So I don't know if this is an absolute priority for Arsenal. Let's hope they're focusing on Declan Rice as Moises and Moises Casado especially however Ivan Fesneda could be a player Arsenal are interested in however Dortmund do seem the favourites to get him at this moment in time and we have to wait and see if Arsenal you know while we're waiting for Dick and Rice perhaps to finish his final we sent in an offer to um, Real Valladolid and say you know we're going to sign him for this amount of money and try beat Bushi Dortmund to the signing as well so again have to wait and see we are in the race but it does seem like Bushi Dortmund are favourites at the moment news about Wilford Nonto potentially going to Arsenal and you can see here Calcio Mercato Italian outlet said this Arsenal and Manchester City are closely following the situation of Wilfred Nonto from obviously Leeds United and Sport Witness also backed this up and you know um, credited the article as well and they also uh, said about the Tuto Mercato web they said um, that as we must recall today they pointed out that Nonto may actually stay at Leeds despite them getting relegated. The outlet who also mentioned Arsenal's interest highlighted that the scenario with him playing in the championship is not so far-fetched. So we'll have to wait and see how um, Leeds will deal with that situation. There's no certainty however if Nonto is really moving this summer. It is said interested clubs are waiting to understand what Leeds will do with him. So again another interesting situation. People talk about you know the relegation clubs. James Madison could go on the cheap, Nonto perhaps as well, perhaps some other players from you know, different clubs such as Lavia from Southampton. You'll be able to get these guys for cheaper than usual and Nonto is an option. Obviously exciting young winger, can play left and I believe can also play on the right. So maybe perhaps would suit Arsenal. At this moment is he good enough for Arsenal? That's another conversation. However, Leeds, how much would he go for? I'm not 100% sure considering their relegation and whether Nanto would 100% want to stay there as well. So this is just one we have to wait and see on. Again, have to wait for, you know, British outlets perhaps to say Arsenal's interest, such as the Satcha Bowie thing, because Italian outlets are saying at the moment Arsenal and Manchester City. So we have to wait for confirmation of the interest. However, if we are interested, then perhaps this could be a bargain as Leeds, you know, fully relegated now, which could obviously lead to uh, them selling Nonto for a cheap amount of money, especially if he pushes for the move. So again, there will be lots of competition for him, in my opinion, as an exciting young player relegation. Uh, so he should be cheaper than, you know, if they had stayed up. So I imagine lots of clubs will be interested, but it does seem like Arsenal and other Premier League clubs are interested in perhaps signing uh, Wilfred, uh, Wilfred Nonto. However, not putting in a bid no talks just following his situation and perhaps if Arsenal don't can't get their first choice they may go for Wilfred Nonto as well so have to wait and see what happens with this but I do imagine there will be interest as he's a good player and he should be going through you know a cheap amount of money as well a little bit about Moises Casado and a little bit other and Violet Ryan Taylor Sport came out with this in one of his articles Arsenal are expected to launch a record bid worth up to 90 million in the coming weeks of a Declan Rice and that further midfield additions could yet materialise with uh, Granite Xhaka sorry, going out the door and perhaps Mason Mount and Caicedo coming in probably not both however Arsenal are obviously interested in him the Gunners are also eyeing defensive recruitments as uh, Mark Gahey and Simikan and Tapsoba are also being admired as well so again lots of interest in various little players However, the Dick and Rice thing is pretty obvious. I just want to talk about a bit about Moises Casado, and you can see here in the top right. Brighton manager Roberto De Zerbi told Moises Casado in January to stay with the club until June despite huge bids and then promised to sell him in the summer if they had received a good proposal. The pact will be respected and Chelsea are still keen on Casado, but it's still three clubs in the race. And he also said on his Here We Go podcast, let me say this, you have to keep an eye on Casado and Chelsea until the end of the market. Chelsea are there and he still remains on the list. So for on the little first point about the Fabrizio Mano pack thing, obviously we bid with him uh, in January and Brighton just refused to negotiate it with us, as, you know, whatsoever. And, you know, they've, I, we all suspected that there's some sort of, you know, agreement and now Fabrizio's confirmed that. 
he's basically said the Zobi said to him stay now and we'll sell you in the summer I promise if we get a good proposal so it does seem like uh, Moises Caicedo is pretty much off and nothing's really going to be changing that unless you know nobody pays good money for him but I highly highly doubt that happens as he's a superb player he says it's Chelsea and three other clubs in the race I imagine it is Arsenal as we've been heavily linked with him and our interest is quite clear however Fabricio hasn't mentioned the other three clubs but it does look like Chelsea could be slight favourites however even though they look like they're getting Ugarte from Sporting it looks like they want Caicedo and Ugarte so that would be very ambitious for them and they may be getting Caicedo however Arsenal are still in the race and ideally we really need to be uh, you know do we have to be quick on this I don't know because Declan Rice nothing's going to speed up until about a week and a half because he needs to do his conference league final so perhaps the club should be doing this now and trying to get Caicedo in through the door because Brighton season is done Arsenal season, season is done so what do you have to wait for maybe they should be doing something now but maybe the lack of proper links saying Arsenal are going to make an offer could be worrying to some people however we need to remain calm at the moment perhaps the reason Smith is going to stay is that we want two midfielders and we're going to go for Vice and Casado because in my opinion I think that's absolutely crucial if we can get that those two I think we will be an elite team and it'd be super super difficult to stop Arsenal so I'm personally very desperate for that to happen is it realistic again I keep questioning this however if Arsenal want to go for it and want to be that ambitious then they need to be going for Casado and then maybe going for a race later however we we'll have to wait and see hopefully we get more links with Moises Casado as it does seem like the club are mainly focusing on deck and race but as I said nothing's going to happen now for another week and a half so to, you know have to wait and see what happens with that and hopefully we do get him but Moises Casado will that start moving fast if Chelsea want to go for him because they you know just throw money up so at the moment it looks like Chelsea are slight favourites Arsenal is still in the race and let's hope that he, you know Arsenal will put in a good bid because I really don't want to see this guy anywhere else at Ch uh, apart from Arsenal so I think he's an absolutely superb player so even if we did get Declan Rice who's obviously quality himself I'll still be a little bit jealous I'm not going to lie but let's hope we can get both but let's hope for more links you know uh, linking Arsenal and Casado together and hopefully we can try get both finally wanted to touch on this quickly just a few little updates one from Di Marzio Guardiola won't block a potential deal from Cancelo to Arsenal so if Arsenal are interested which we obviously know we are then Guardiola isn't going to say no I don't want to sell anybody to Arsenal if Arsenal put in maybe a 60-70 million offer then I imagine Man City will accept it so it could be a quite a simple deal to be done won't maybe not much with Manchester City as they really want to sell him but also want good money for him so I have to see if Arsenal pursue this but the main bit here is that Guardiola won't want to you know may not stand in his way if he decides to go to Arsenal and also about Marco Asensio as we got linked to him yesterday quite briefly however that looks all but done already as I suspected it would he said this from Marco he is close to selling for Aston Villa so I kind of knew it wasn't really an anything story to be honest but I had to bring it in because Arsenal's name were mentioned I think it'd actually be a good signing for Villa and you know with European Conference League football I should say that, that would be a good signing and they're gonna have to get depth so good for Villa however Arsenal not going to get essential and I think most people knew this but that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below about Caicedo what do you think of him are you worried about Chelsea getting him how desperate are you for him and potentially Dick and Rice Cancelo do you want him do you not same with Marco Asensio are you gutted he's going to Villa or do you not really care that much Fresneda what do you think of him do you really really want him and do you think we should be trying to beat Dortmund in this race Nonto do you think Arsenal should follow up on their potential interest and finally Emil Smith Rowe are you happy that he's staying are you unhappy that he's staying what do you think next season will look like for him do you also believe that his um, you know, pre-season would be vital for him and what do you think his best position is as well so let me know all your thoughts on everything but especially Emil Smith Rowe as I'm really you know thoughtful to see what you think about that but as I said that's it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video